Well, as you know, your smile is one of the first things people notice about you, right? And if you're hiding your smile because of receding gums, guess what? You are not alone. There is a way to solve that problem, and it's not as painful as you might think. I want you to meet Dr. John Chow, and with him is Dr. Eric Svans. They're joining us this morning, and we're talking about receding gums. You know, they don't affect just older people anymore. It affects everybody. Dr. Chow, tell me about how you used to fix receding gums. The way we used to fix it was we have to cut a piece of gum from the roof of the mouth. Oh. And then cut the gum where we want it, and then uh, stitch it uh, to to the new place. I can't even I can't even fathom having something like that done. But receding gums are not only unsightly, but they can be actually very dangerous for us uh, and tooth decay. How did you come up with this new procedure? Well, it uh, it was such a uh, you know uh, the necessity of it mm -hmm. uh, drove me to want to do something a little bit better. We're actually so looking out, at, at an animation yeah. here of okay, how this now, works yeah, now. That's, uh, that's where the tissue is being taken from the roof of the mouth mm -hmm. and then transferred uh, to the area that's needed. That's the and old then, way. Yeah, and that's uh, stitched up like that. Uh, with a new, new way that I invented, we have a pinhole there mm -hmm. and that we make with a very tiny needle mm -hmm. and then we have specialized instruments that basically lifts uh, the uh, tissue up from the bone Okay. And then basically then we'll drape it down. And then we'll put some collagen underneath and that stabilizes it. So when it's done, you can hardly tell it's done. There's no, there's no uh, sign of actual surgery being done. Because there's no stitching, there's no cutting that we have to do any stitching for. That's amazing. So the recovery process, uh, night and day. It's, it's uh, hardly anything. Hardly they, they, anything. They can have lunch or dinner afterwards. No and, uh, way. And they, they come back the next day, the pinhole's gone. And uh, they take one or two Advil sometimes, and that's it. Mm -hmm. And they give you a big hug, is what you said. Yes, right? this is a, <laughs> a new dental procedure. It's a huggable procedure. A huggable a procedure. procedure. Um, we get a lot of hugs for that. Amazing. This is amazing. Now, now, Dr. Chow, you live in Los Angeles, and you invented this procedure. Yes. And Dr. Sven, you are actually performing this procedure at your office. Yes, I am. How, how, many, how many procedures have you done? Uh, we've done over 50 to, to, to date. Wow. Okay, now the old way versus the new way. Tell me, tell me about some of your patients when they come in. First of all, how, how do you, or why do you get receding gums to begin with? Is it, is it genetics? Uh, genetics can play a role in it. Okay. Many times it's from overbrushing. Uh, many people brush wrong or with the wrong type of toothbrush. Really? Uh, and many people clench and grind. Ah. Those are the, the most most obvious signs that we see that have caused the recession. You know when you go into the dentist and they're counting, you know they count, is that what they're talking, is that what they're counting, or are the, are the that, gums? That's part of it. Okay. Um, they're actually measuring the pocket depth, um, but what we also measure is the amount of recession. Okay. That's an additional reading that we usually take, yes. Okay, all right, so when somebody comes into you, into your office, and, and they have this procedure done, is it something that you do it in your office? This is not necessarily, uh, I mean, you're not, are you putting people out? Or? No, just local anesthetic. No kidding. Just like we were doing a filling. Wow. I want to take a look at some before and after pictures, and um, maybe, uh, Doctor, you can describe to me okay. you know, what we're seeing here. The before picture, clear, it's that, that line that you're seeing yes. above your tooth enamel. Yeah, this patient uh, couldn't smile, uh, and when she did smile, she wanted to cover it up. And oh. so in one session, less than an hour, mm -hmm. I was able to bring the gums down to where it is, and she actually cried when she saw it. Oh my gosh. She says, you know, I, I'm so grateful. And then and her family tells us that she's totally changed, that she's happy, she's smiling, smiling. She's, that she's it's back to where she was before. Her husband was delighted wow. with it. This is another case. Uh, this young man came in uh, with a lot of recession, mm -hmm. and then uh, we brought it all down in one appointment. He was just totally happy. And uh, six months later, he was married. <laughs> <laughs> So it really so, worked for him. So, I see, it? And so, so I see his kid now. He says, I'm responsible partly for that. <laughs> oh, that is adorable. Now, Dr. Spin, when people come in, I mean, you can clearly tell by looking in the mirror, you know if you have receding gums or not, right? Absolutely. So when they want to make an appointment to have this type of procedure done, do you, do you need to analyze and, and uh, meet with them first? And Always. Take, okay. Is there... Is there any good candidate or is there anything that people should know prior to making an appointment like that? Uh, you know, anyone with any type of recession is a candidate for okay. this procedure. Um, this, this procedure, pinhole 
fills a void that currently there was no treatment for it. Wow. Um, no, Dr. Uh, Spence, you have a story to tell about Mary. Okay, we got to oh, do Mary, it quickly, though. Tell me Mary real Ma quick. Mar you know, Mary uh, is my typical patient, comes in, drove in from Mesa, mm -hmm. um, recession on 28T. Wow. Um, prior to that, she would need three or four, maybe even six surgeries to mm -hmm. get this corrected. We're able to do this in one or two visits. Um, no pain. Uh, show her the mirror right after. Shocked. She's just shocked. Can't believe it. No pain and a big hug. That's what absolutely. you got, right? Yes, All right. Absolutely. The huggable procedure. Uh, yes. Thank you so much, gentlemen. This is fascinating. Thank you for, for sharing this, this new procedure with us. Thank you for uh, let me us. give you the uh, contact information here for um, it's called the Chow Pinhole Gum Rejuvenation. And the phone number to learn more, find uh, um, out any more information is 888 603 2953. The website is pinholegumrejuvenation.com. Com. And the website for Dr. Eric Spen is uh, the Phoenix Dentist, his pinholeaz.com.